whatever this crisis has taught you, make this as your bottom line. If you love life, take a stand. Don't, well, don't just stand on the sidelines or say yes to everything, all right? You were not born to be a yes man, okay? As they say in, as they say in the profession of selling and network marketing, it always starts with no. Okay. All businesses start with no. So, if you truly love life, well, you just have to be um, be firm on what you stand for. But if you know you're wrong, be lenient on yourself. But unless that happens, you gotta take a stand on an issue. Ikang asa Murphy's law. Where you stand on an issue depends on where you sit. Okay, that is half true. But mostly. In times of crisis like this, you just got to take a stand. There's no in between. You can't afford to be in between. I'll tell you honestly, you cannot afford to be in between in these times. There are only two colors to to an issue: black and white. Which one are you? If you love life, take a stand. Teaching people the uh, teaching people about money and life. Okay. As I've always said, money and life are the two the two subjects schools can never teach. All right? They would um, they would only give you basic skills like math, science. Hmm. So are now now allowed to go outside for essentials. Okay, I want to slap that. Kilala nyo ako. <clears throat> the school system, well, unfortunately, has been a um, has been a breeding ground for corrupt people. Okay? Because mainly of well, bawal magkamale. Okay, you're you get punished for your mistakes, and but at the same time, you're not being held accountable for it. Expul yeah, expulsion, suspension. What the fuck? Okay. They just keep they'll just keep on doing that. No real accountability checks happen. But if you're a uh, diligent enough teacher, you will promote accountability. Okay? I've been well half the teachers I have uh, I've uh, I've known all throughout my my academic life uh, make you accountable make you accountable for your actions okay i'm sort of just like robert kiyosaki was right okay corruption begins at school i'm about to sleep now but uh, i just had to make this entry for linkedin <laughs> uh well it just goes to show you that you feel that you really want to do something uh, do it now if you really feel like uh, the creative juices are flowing you gotta you, you gotta put that idea out now you gotta record this you gotta put the content out now okay because if you uh, if you start to do it later that's why I said in a previous video to write your ideas down but there are times that well you just gotta do that video right away right it's better to do the vid better to do that content right away and don't uh, don't just write it down you record it okay 
sometimes you got to uh, sometimes you got you got to you got to take the extra mile or uh, do it at the last minute be well, be creative to be productive to be consistent You gotta do whatever means necessary to put that content out. Alright? So, this entry is a fine example. I've just, uh, well, um, uh, re watched some episodes of the, some latest episodes of the, uh, certain animes that I, uh, I'm currently fond of, all right. Most of them are new, and well, I just found out that one of them, or, or, or half of them, will go on hiatus indefinitely because of you know what. But okay, now, okay, now, there's still the classics. <laughs> there's still the classics. There are still um, uh, returning enemies that, hanggang ngayon. Uh, pa so that's 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 a consolation okay now what am I driving at here animes for me can make you humble they humble me right how well sometimes with the grind of the grind of content creation, and especially these trying, confusing, and somewhat dumbfounded times, some things don't add up. Okay, those conspiracy theories are those conspiracy theories running or running around on YouTube. Mukha na All right. So with that, well, you got to. I have to watch. Uh, have to watch animes. Because although I have uh, done another successful upload, I've I've done another successful um, successful. Uh, I've been productive over at social media. Sometimes it can it can inflate your head. All right, it can really inflate your head. Kung dati humble ka, minsan magiging arrogant ka ni. Because of all the, um, because you're 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 you're, you're on such a roll that uh, you well, you tend to forget that sooner or later you're going to you're going to make a mistake, and sooner or later you won't you won't uh, you won't express accountability for that mistake. Time for a humility check. Okay, anime watching animes are my humility check. So, yeah, it keeps, uh, it, it does keep me humble, right? It unconsciously tells me that, okay, I'm only human. Okay? I have that tendency to make mistakes. I have that, oh, but I am in control of my life and my brand and my career. Okay. The slightest uh, hint of arrogance can bring it all down in a jiffy. Okay. So, enemies make me humble. What about you guys? I've been, um, I've been getting my ears and eyes ringed out about this uh, new term called the new normal right i've already talked about this talked about this on twitter uh, i think two year, two weeks ago i said there's no new normal it's very true but for the sake of argument let's assume it's true this new normal every um Every every politician in the world is uh, is uh, blabbermouthing about 
it's just well it's just branding okay it's just branding <clears throat> there's no such thing again there's no such thing as a new normal but there will be changes once this crisis is over asahan nyo yan now Dan Lok okay in one in his most in one of his latest videos has um uh, made a made predictions as how business is going to be done after after we've all come out of this now there's some truth to that okay i believe that i believe in what he said there <clears throat> well but um i'm not i'm not much of a long-term thinker when it comes to um when it comes to post-crisis things okay Sure. Within the next, within the six months after, after this is all over, there will be changes. Like um, uh, there will be less, there will be less public transport. More people are going to uh, probably more people will be going to work on uh, on single parts of transportation like. Uh, Bicycles, motorbikes, mopeds, even e-bikes. I say, well, social distancing is is not that easy to enforce. But the things of public transport, okay. Jan na jan talaga mahirapan. And in in businesses, now, the way I see it, businesses will now focus on. Uh, they'll now focus on takeout and delivery. Okay, siempre dalape. Eh. Six within the six months after this crisis is over, dalam mga business kasi eh, they've been they've been out of action for nearly uh, for almost three months na. So nakadala yun. Any kind any any business model that you're using if you're in business if you've been locked down for three months, <coughs> nganga nganga kasakita. So yeah. They'll be focusing on takeout and delivery. Okay, well, they have to. And I also see um, governments uh, either requiring or incentivizing businesses to uh, to take on the takeout and delivery route more than dine-in. But, yeah, six months... One year after the crisis has been the crisis has been averted, or not not exactly averted. The crisis has been dealt with. We'll all go back to no, we'll all not not normal, pwe, <laughs> not normal. We'll all go back to the way we used to be. Um, the month before this crisis hit. Why? Well, because. People are more, yeah. People will be more mobile again. Okay, people will go back to uh, getting mass, getting getting on board mass transportation more. Yung mga more than three seat, more than three seats. Okay, and well, things will go back the way they used to be in the month in the months before the crisis happened. Even before this all started in Wuhan, okay, we will all go back to that one year after this is all over. That is my theory. Okay, it's also my opinion. Okay, other thought leaders have already given their opinion about this. The one I saw, the the first one that I saw was was from Dan Lok. Okay, and now I'm giving mine. Yeah, that's about to happen. The new normal will only last for a year. I just um, engaged in the personal finance subreddit. There was this student who was asking uh, if he can, with his budget, he can rent a home. And I commented 
why rent what you can own now there was this there was another <clears throat> there was another user who replied to my comment and gave me this um oh it's an idea no that that owning home may be an idea but how can you know that you're just asking only renting not buying to the one who replied to my comment you are fucking dense <laughs> You are fucking dense, right? You rely too much on the numbers, okay? What I'm saying to the one who posted on that subreddit is if your goals aren't outrageous enough, life isn't exciting. Okay? That's what I said. Because for me, life, oh, sorry. Personal finance is not a numbers game. You treat it like a numbers game, you will never reach any of your goals. Any of your money goals. Okay? But um, the one who posted on that subreddit, the original post, the original poster, uh, actually commended me for my advice. It was great advice, yeah, he said. And I said thanks. Because for me, having a legacy wealth mindset will be will will make your personal finances, your personal financing management easier. Okay, owning a home is a goal of legacy wealth. That's what I've been that's what I've been saying since well since Grant Card well since Grant Cardone got slammed by Jordan Belfort on the Wolf's Den. Okay. This house I'm in uh, used to be owned by my used to be owned by my dad, but since he passed away, it's now been it's now been owned by me. Okay, that's legacy wealth. Okay, that's the legacy he left behind, and I intend to keep it that way. Okay, the lesson I learned from this is owning a home. Is a, is a goal of legacy wealth. Okay. Personal finance is not a numbers game. <sighs> Personal finance needs only two things. Mindset and goals. If your mindset, if you're not in the right mindset, do not expect your personal finances to get better. As a consequence, your goals should be outrageous enough right don't settle for just renting out so well i know i know you're well you just revealed to me the, to the poster okay the poster just revealed to me that they're him and his significant other are both uh, full-time students but well as long as you're full-time students you should get well you should have you should already have outrageous goals even though you're just students okay life will be more exciting and you'll get a better view of your personal finances somehow okay it's it's uh it's probably human instinct that when outrageous goals are written you see a clearer picture you see uh you see a bigger picture of uh, of your money of everything you have in life right personal finance personal finance depends only on your mindset and your goals do not depend entirely on the numbers it's mediocre it's fucking mediocre again personal finance is not a numbers game P.S. To the original poster, I appreciate you uh, commending my comment as great advice. I hope to see you in the future. I hope to see you in the future. <laughs>